Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Bulby, uh, and today we're gonna play Age of Wonders 4. Um, I played a little bit of this game today, uh, or not today, since this came out past week, I believe. Came out last week, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, I'm level 8, I've got some cosmetic stuff, but there's a lot. Most of it's cosmetic and like little uh, banners and stuff, but there are some like hero origins and culture origins and some other cool stuff and you get some worlds that you can play and you just have to uh beat them or have to get to a level to unlock them to play um but today we're gonna start a new game a little let's play of it uh yeah so let's get into it um i'm gonna do a hmm i don't know should i do a custom realm or hmm, i want to go very barbaric which is fun so let's do custom do advanced settings uh all right uh geography trait i think we're gonna do let's do land so it's one solid land piece so we can just kind of go everywhere from there um and then climate traits i don't think i'm gonna do anything i don't really want to do any of this just kind of keep it standard and then on this i want to do what was it? Was it this one? No. Oh, underground start, maybe? No, I don't want to do that. Do I? That'd be fun. No. I think... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. They want to do... The small underground. Because I want more people to be up on the... Uh, top of the mainland before uh, player descent we're gonna do standard we're gonna do six players i believe that includes yourself um so lesson five or classic name custom realm let's just name it uh bulby land because it will be ours at the end of this <laughs> uh portal visuals let's see this is all just cosmetic that looks awesome that looks cool i like some cool stuff i'm gonna do this one i like that one uh factions okay uh, we're gonna play a normal. I'm still getting used to the game. Uh, just kind of getting the hang of it. So we're just playing normal. Just kind of take it easy, but still have a little. There's still some challenge in it every now and again. Um, custom rulers, no. Generated rulers. I do like generated rulers. It's fun. Uh, game flow. I don't think I need to change any of that. Yeah. All right. Your now let's make our ruler. Okay. Here. I think. I want to do like very barbar barbaric. I want to do custom. Yeah, these are all the ones I've created. A um, couple of them I've finished. A couple of them they were multiplayer. I didn't really do anything. A couple of them I just made and didn't like them. Just haven't deleted them. Uh, so we're gonna create a new faction. What is now there's a lot form? of physical forms. Now one thing I don't like, kind of the physical form, like humans, they start with fast recuperation and adaptable so they just get more xp and they gain more hit points uh but you can just change them for any of them anything like i could change like they're resolute but then i can literally make them uh yeah adaptable like now the felines have the human traits so it's more just cosmetic um yeah but i think we're gonna go orcs i want to go like just full-on Mm, or do I want to do wolves? No. Or dwarfs. Just war dwarfs. No, let's do orcs. Let's do orcs. And just full on just death. Just we're gonna murder everyone. So what do they what do they start with? Retaliation and then strong increase the physical damage and melee and range. Honestly, I like that. I think it's just very basic. I like just sticking to that. It works well. With what I want to do. What is that um, culture? Mm, yeah, barbarian. Yeah, because you get the you get the draft. So there's like feudal, high barbarian, industrious, dark mystic. Uh, dark and mystic are kind of your. Well, you can really do magic with everyone, but dark and mystic start off with like they get the man incomes and some different things that kind of push them towards the magic fighting. Industrious or like you're really production based, obviously. Barbarian is more people, more army. 
more death. Uh, high is very like stability, knowledge, uh, you're good people, and then feudal. Um, you just get a lot of food and a lot of people, but you get these feudal lords. If I can hover over it. It doesn't want to stay. There we go. Come on. Nope. Okay. Feudal lords. Grant five heroes a special feudal lord title as hero skills. They grant bonuses to the cities. These heroes are governor of world map bonuses to their armies. The hero skills are Lord of War. You get plus five hit points. Uh, and 25% movement or move points. Crops, you just get more food. Lord of Knowledge, 15. Magic, production. And you start with one hero and you can recruit heroes. They randomly just pop up and you can recruit them. And then every now and again, one will just show up. Um, so it's cool. Um, and then when you vassalize a city and then you end up integrating it into your uh, kingdom, it'll you also get the hero that is in charge of that. But we'll get into that once we uh, start. Uh, but I'm going to do barbarian. Just more food, more draft. Which draft? So production. So there's four production type things. There's gold, which I don't think. No, no one has gold. So there's... You have mana income, you have your knowledge income, which is the purple, you have your production income, gold income, food income, and draft income, which draft income is used to create units rather than actual production, which is cool. Um, so we're going to do Barbarian, because why not? Duh. That's kind of what we're going to be doing. What um, defines their society? Let's see. So we're we're gonna be fighting a lot, so we're gonna be evil no matter what. So like these do like extra evil. They give you minus ten alignment, but that's okay. So these your city own gain plus three mana plus three through for tier of non magic origin units killed. That'll be fine. Tier units killed after a second. You start with two hero uh, hero items, so that'd be cool. And then. So I think I'm going to do Ruthless Raider. And then... Is it Sirens of Evil? This one I want to do because... It gives me... Is this the one? Power... Am I missing? I think I'm missing it. Ritual. I, don't know, I feel like there was a um. I feel like there's one. Maybe I'm missing it, where it doesn't care about your stability. I don't know. Power will evokers. It's just battle mages. I don't know. I guess not. Scions and Evil is also good though, because you get plus 10 draft and plus 5 Imperium, which is pretty good. Um, so we're going to do Ruthless Raiders, because you just get gold and draft per tier of units killed, which is nice. Um, but we might do Great Builders. Just to build production for some things. But... I think we do Prolific Swarmers, just straight Barbarian. Because we get plus one in the uh, entire nature affinity, which is nice. Tome of the Horde. A large, deadly enemy. So you, each, you start with a tome of each of the two. So this is like astral affinity, but we are going for the chaos affinity. Clearly, orcs, chaos, murder, yes. Um, and you start between two, and there's five tiers. And we'll get into the uh, uh, victory conditions here in a minute. So, Tome of the Horde, um, large deadly enemies, that's kind of like the fighting, and you get the mob camp, which does a lot for school. Um, and battle seeker training, what is it? Oh, it's a, uh, hero scope. And then Tome of Pyramids, which is fire, so we're definitely gonna go with Horde. I'm going for more of, like, melee damage and, like, physical attack rather than magical. What is your ruler's and then... There's this wizard king and champion. So if you do champion, you are a ruler risen for the ranks of other people. So you will be the, um, I've lost the word. 
you'll I'll be an orc. So if you choose orc, you'll be an orc. If you choose human, you'll be a human. If you choose elf, you'll be an elf, and so on and so on. Um, but if you do wizard king, you get all these bonuses down here. But then you can choose any race you want to. So if I wanted to, I could be a human overseeing the orcs, which is cool. Um, and you get mana and these and over channel ability. But I think we do champion, which I get stability, which is going to come in handy. But I think I think it's when you choose your uh, hero. I think there's a thing I can choose where stability doesn't matter. But I'll have to look. If not, then yeah, this will be good. Um, and then all units gain 20 experience no matter what. And then I start with 100% relations with free cities, which is also a bonus. So we're going to do champion. We'll go with that. Reveal yourself. It's a lot to get set up, but it's totally worth it because it's fun. Um, so orcs, I'm going to be... A dude, big dude orc, grumpy orc, um, physique, obviously biggest of the big, um, arm length, long, leg length, long, we're just tall, map dude, <laughs> tiny orcs though, why won't it, okay. no, we want tall orcs, just massive orcs, uh, skin color, red orcs, red, like, ooh, we could be like demon orcs, red orcs, yeah, I think we're gonna, let's do like demon orcs. Um, skin decoration, I'm gonna chain off because I'm gonna do this. And axe and shield, no, you get to choose what uh, weapons your hero starts with. So axe and shield starts with this, melee and shield, I get plus three defense on and it's non flanking attacks, which is really good. Um, hero mount, I get a hero mount, which is a wolf, but I'm probably gonna choose a horse. Um, and bigger, I just get. Uh, hit points which is nice um i could use a great axe which gives me fighting one which is i think just bonus damage yeah gain two percent damage um and then you can do bow staff and orb but i think i'm going to do great axe just looks menacing but we'll change up his look here in a second skin decorations i think we'll go with Maybe I think that's blue. I liked which one? Is it this one? No. I like that one. That one looks pretty sick. No, I think I'm just gonna do no decorations. All right, head. Eyes are tiny. <laughs> gonna eh. I like that one. Oh, ooh, ooh, terrifying. No, wait, I have to. I'm gonna do what the teeth. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then we gotta do just purple eyes, yellow eyes. I think I like the yellow eyes with the red. It just looks good. Looks kind of terrifying. All right. Bald. No, he's gotta have hair. But I think. <laughs> yes. Looks like World of Warcraft here now. Mm, top uh, and some weird uh, braids in the beard dreads long hair I like that one yeah we're gonna go with that one what if we did like white hair I got a menace no black it's gotta be black hair yeah and then uh, red bottom ooh yes ooh what if we did red on black that looks awful. Yeah, we'll do black with red. I like that. That looks good. Okay, outfit. There's not much to choose from, actually. That's surprising. We got the first one. Boom. Okay. I'm take my cape off first. Okay, outfit. Boom. Just straight up muscle man right there. Look at that man. Look at the muscle. And then boom. Honestly, no. The last one. Let's do that one. And then helmet. Oh, dude. That looks sick. That's cool. That's nice. I remember, I'm like straight. Gonna murder everyone. <laughs> I think these are cosmetics. Okay, I think it's gonna be... That one. Yeah, I like that one. And then cape. 
with skulls. Oh, dude, that looks sick. Okay, with like totems. Is it? What, what did it change on the back? I don't think it changed anything on the back. That looks cool. Cool. Oh, dude, it's like an old man. That's nice. There's so many. That's just like basic. Whoa. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like that one. That one's like sick. Uh, armor color. What if we did gold? Or black. Black, yeah. We're just going straight evil, aren't we? Thing is, you can't make black and red. What? We'll do red and white then. That's fine. Uh, now my race. Here is my race of people. Physique. You guys are the biggest of the big. Okay. So get big. Arm length. All the way. Leg length. Tiny. Okay. Big people. Army skin color. Red. Yes. Um, Black. Duh. Gold. Any cool ones? That's cool ones, but we're doing black. Definitely. Hair color. Gray. Black. Same thing. Army mount type. Um, Boars. School. Wolves. <laughs> Tiny ponies. No, I think we're shooting normal horses. So, yeah. Sick. I like it. And I will not get a mount actually starting out since I chose the Great Axe. So, we'll have to go from there. But, uh, yeah. Warlord, obviously, of the, uh, what, what did we call it? Demon ogres? Demon orcs? Demon orcs. And then Ivar Warbark. Ace Thick Skull. Yes. What a what a Chad. Onward. Um, and then the rest are gonna be random. Uh I think we're ready. Let's go. And they're all AI generated, which is cool. So it's not the base game, which base game can be cool, but I want them to be kind of random, not who I've played already. Because I played like a few games, so. Alright. Here we are. We're in the game. Uh, Ace Thick Skull. Look at this man. New the ruler emerges. Explore your surroundings and expand your domain. Prepare to face your rivals and become the master of this realm. Your choices will shape the new age of wonders. Uh, Tomb of the Horde. Sweet. Got all the stuff we need. Boom. And then these are starting magic. So we'll choose. But here is the map. So you can zoom all the way out. See the map. Pretty big. We're starting up here, which I like. But we have an aberration right next to it. Aberration? That was cool. I think it's what's called. I think it's called aberration. Uh, so we'll need to take that out before it spawns. But we have a nice big mountains in the corner. Um, we got a nice mountains around here. And here we're kind of like in a little valley, which I like, actually. So we might move this way. and But we might find a uh, free city over here. So we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but here we're in Whetstone. I don't like that name. <laughs> so we're going to name it. If my name's Thick Skull, we're just going to call it. Yeah, we'll do Thick Skull. I'm named the city after myself, so. Um, yeah, so the victory conditions. Actually, this is where is it? Here it is. Military victory conditions. You just have to, pretty simple. You just defeat the uh, other five rulers. Uh, expansion victory, which is cool. I like the expansion and magic victories. Um, expansion victory, occupy 109 provinces, which are these little sections here. Um, you occupy 109. And then it all, that will grant you the ability to build the beacons of unity or light the beacon of unity or build the beacons of unity. You have to build three and you can build, you have to build them in three different cities. So you have to make three cities um, in order for it to work because you can only build one per city. Um, and then you'll cast something which will light a beacon of unity. And then it will uh, spawn these evil uh, mobs like this one, except stronger, a lot stronger. Um, and they'll just try and destroy your beacons and you just have to defend them for 15 turns and then you win. Uh, magic victory, kind of the same thing, except you do this knowledge and you get to tier five tome and you have to build, you, know, you have to build the affinity province improvements based on which tier you want. So I would have to do it on the chaos, which is pretty cool. And it depends on who, which uh, magic tree you took, uh, which is actually, which we can't open it yet actually. So I'll show that in a minute. Um, and then you launch the chaos spell. And then once again, these mobs spawn. You have to defend it. 
Um, and then the score victory, simple. Turn 150, score. Whoever has high score wins. Um, I think my last game, I played for like six hours straight. And I got to turn. I won on turn 82 on a magic victory. So, but there we go. Um, let's go and stick skull. See what we can produce. Um, this is all we're producing. These are all the improved produce productions you can do. Excuse me. Um, so like I said, production and draft are separate when it comes to your warriors. So instead of production, it takes 80 draft to make a warrior. So that's cool. Uh, so we are actually going to do a storehouse and then a vendor no and then a granary i think we're gonna get try and get the food up real quick which would be nice and then we're gonna make a two warriors and then we'll just keep it so this is my scout unit nice demon or pathfinder um so we'll go up here and these nodes they're everywhere if they're not defended you can go over them and get the resources so this one will grant us mana went from 50 to 98 got 48 pretty cool but that's a level four that's pretty easy um it's 171 army size 375 so we can go take that out pretty fast um so i think we're gonna go actually do that and we're gonna move and i have the quick moving on just to speed things up a little bit um here's the research this way you choose in the tome each tier has a set of researches and what you uh in here that once you do four cycles of research you'll be able to choose the next tome and then it'll randomly put three of the researches from the tomes you have to pick from um so if you want to go for a magic victory you kind of have to beeline your tomes and stick to the same set of tomes until you get to the tier five to do it but if you're not going for a magic victory then you can there are certain tomes that provide certain magic skills or spawns or unit enhancements or like this one's a minor race transformation um there's like certain ones that you might want to go for so you can just pick from a bunch of tomes and up here is the affinities you get and i'll open that up once we get to that part uh, and you can shuffle it if you want but we're not going to um there's a spell that'll be cast in an actual battle um this will help our vision for our scout units and this is a minor race transfer. It makes the target race smaller and more numerous, granting them increased number of units of formation, 20% damage, and compatible with super growth. Um, which that's actually pretty sick. Uh, but I think we're going to go with this first, just so we can have a bigger sight for my uh, scout unit. And in the turn, that's turn one. And you can see we're at neg negative 10 evil. Totally fine. We're going to be evil this whole game, so not a problem. Uh, I think I'm going to keep moving my scout this direction. Yeah, just kind of go. And there's some gold. We'll get that next turn. And we're going to move him up there because we want to get rid of this because right now I don't think it says it. No, it doesn't say how many turns, but see, it has the sleeping icon. It's like ZZZ. Um, but in a certain amount of turns, this will wake up and it'll start spawning mobs and they'll start going out and fighting. And since it's so close to my city, we don't want that because we need this territory to expand. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. Banner in nine plus turns. So yeah, we are plenty safe and easy to get a hold of this. We need to discover a free city so we can get this Whispering Stone and that allows us to... Uh, we give it to them, and then we can get um, relations with them, trade relations, and then eventually we can start getting income from that city by becoming a vassal, or them becoming a vassal of mine. So we're going to go to the brigade camp. We're going to do manual combat, just so I can show you guys how to do it. We're not going to do manual combat every time if it's a complete blowout. Um, I usually don't do it just because it's just a waste of time which also can be a little fault because you can take some damage that you don't actually need on some units but it is what it is sometimes um we're gonna do three times speed just to speed it up there's my guy we're gonna move everyone in first he gets a lot of movement though so they actually move pretty far and then Sue say those are like healers and this is like a ranged or a uh melee they can do both which is cool um, and then they get invigorate 
uh, temporary hit points. Oh, sweet. Right. Oh, I can't. Actually, that's probably a good thing. We'll do all of them. And they get strength and regeneration, which is nice. So they regenerate and they get strength, so they just do extra damage. So we're going to attack you. Get you just hit. Honestly, my guy could probably run in, but I'm going to wait before we do that. We're going to move him there and him there and then uh, him attacked with a 90% chance. That's what the 90, it's the percentage of chance to hit. So you can see 99% percent to be poisoned for three turns. So we're going to hit him. We're going we're gonna to hit him. And he's poisoned for three turns. So we start going to take damage. So this is very cool. I like it. It's fun. Charge strike, just boom, insta hit. This legend. Um, and then here are my spells that I can cast. So target friendly units, berserk and strengthen. And sweet. So now they're strengthened as well, which is nice. So now we're all strengthened, which is really good. So now we all have bonus damage. But as you go and get in tomes, you can get more right, more spells to cast, which I'll be minor just buff spells, but you can get actual damage spells. You can get summon spells to summon things, which is cool. So, boom, gonna finish him off. Easy peasy. Um, I think we're just gonna go back here and just start attacking the range melee, because now the ranged can't attack uh, since he's flanked. Well, there's that bonus damage for flank, but then he also can't attack because he is... Uh, ranged. You can't attack. If you're a ranged unit, you can only attack um, one square away. So there's be a square in between you and the person in front of you. So. Nice. I don't think I did what I wanted to do, but it is what it is. Alright. Um, I just say attack ranged. Also attack range with their flank, which is nice. And then my guy can come in here and Ace can come in and finish him off. Victory. Easy to up. Take some damage, but that's okay. They your units collect damage or uh regain health over time per uh turn. I think it's five a turn, so it takes a lot. But like fifty-four, so still a lot to recuperate but it is what it is but we got it take a roll we get those and we get 80 production instantly so we'll finish probably the granary we might finish both and then we get a white wolf so it's a mount uh but my guy actually hang on i think i get, yeah okay so i got a helmet which gave me one defense it was random i forgot about that and then three present in the sensing ring but i can't ride the mount but we're going to actually keep it so it actually sells for a lot which is early game but we're gonna keep it for a future hero or if i find a better um weapon that i can mount with since it's a two-handed you cannot mount uh, and here's the underground passage passages they're all over the map to go underground uh, we're gonna move over here we're gonna try and attack that that's a low risk battle so we might actually have to fight that one as well uh, here's the tree so you have the general which everyone gets plus six two um, which is how many you have total affinity and it's just a bunch of chin roll stuff um, Here's the nature affinity since we have one we have one point and here's the chaos affinity since we have five We'll get five a turn and it's tree all the way up here So the first one we got unlocked which is defeating infestation grant you unit based on infestation defeated so I shouldn't that's what they're called infestations not aberrations i don't know why i was saying that but it's infestations um that was my mistake i always forget i just got in the zone of talking but i always forget like if you're going chaos you want to not defeat the infestations until you get this because you get units when you win which is really helpful but it is what it is there'll be plenty more oh so, yeah I think no it just sped it up but yeah, that's cool I think that is it for this turn so we'll move on to the next turn all right so I'm gonna go up here yeah just keep moving around and search so your goal for your scout explore the map find people find free cities find these watchtowers these 
uh, wizard towers. I think there's watchtowers called. Uh, wizard watchtowers, wizard towers, whatever. Um, and it uh, reveals more of the map that you can't see. Um, and then you want to find those uh, tiny resource nodes that uh, don't have anyone on them. Because it just gets you more resource. So we're going to go here. We're going to attack. Um, we're going to do manual combat again. Now we're playing these guys are ranged and melee. So that's cool. And we have some units that are wounded. So I might have to rethink this, but it is what it is. All right. Honestly, I'm just going to go all in. Thanks. The best bet. Wait, can he attack? Oh, since I think that's annoying. Whatever. Defense mode. Boom. And you can't. There's spells you can cast on turn one. You have to actually. It's one of the affinity tree points. Um, but you have to wait until turn two until you discover that. So we're going to. Yeah. Oh, so since I did Berserk, he's just going to go on his own, which is cool. We're going to heal everyone. I think that's a good idea. Just go over here. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but there we go. We'll defeat him. So I'm just going in. It's the best spot. And in turn. We should win this. He is going to die. That's unfortunate. Okay, this might be a little harder than I thought. But, well, I forgot. I'm berserk, so I hit a lot. But that actually works nice. I'm going to go for you. Uh, and they're immune to poison. So we're going to go in here. And then... Defense mode. Strengthen them. Right. Enter. Next unit. Alright. Attack him. That'll kill him. And that'll kill him. Sweet! And bam. And we got a fire another oh i know Ooh, this is an actual unit yeah a tier three unit already on turn four yes look at that sick so demolisher nice charge resistant unaffected by bonus effects can be countered nice cool so we can add them to the army you just click boom add it so, not bad. We're going to move down here. And we're going to move... That's actually... Orders required. Oh, yeah. We built the guy. Uh, I'm going to go have him join the army. Get out of here, bud. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Now we can annex. Um, I think what I need most... Food. So, we get bonuses. Since there's a pasture there, this will be gold. Since we have gold, this can be gold and... Iron. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do to uh, increase, but I think we're going to take the food bonus for now just to keep the population growing. More growing, more production can help. Um, and then our ruler actually leveled up. So we have bloodlust, hit points. When they see that's not bad. Primal mark. It's a battle. Deal. There's a light damage. Ooh, that could be good. Um, and then battle secret training. That could be good for now, because everyone's tier one. I think we do this one just because we're so early. The tier one guys in my army. These guys are going to do bonus damage. So, and so this guy when he gets here. So. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it uh, for today. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like, comment, or subscribe below. Um, I stream over on Twitch daily, so if you want to watch me uh, do live streams over there, um, that will be in the description below. And also follow me on Twitter to keep up with me. Um, my schedule changes on Twitter a lot, and I do um, 
I'll be doing some polls and stuff of what you guys want. Uh, so yeah, see ya.